I started teaching Spanish over 30 years ago, and I used to use Quizlet a lot. But after I realized my students were seeing ads and that Quizlet wasn't signing data privacy agreements, I knew I had to switch, especially as most features became paid. When I was looking for an alternative, I kept coming across the Note platform, and I've been using it for the last year. This is how I use it and why I like it better than Quizlet. Before we get started, let me show you how easy it is to bring existing Quizlet flashcard sets into Note. All you need to do is have the Note handy Chrome extension, open up your flashcard set on Quizlet's website, and the Note extension will immediately recognize it. All I have to do is click on the puzzle icon in the browser, click Note, and choose where I want all of those terms to go in my flashcard set. I can choose which class to put it in. And once I've done that, they're instantly available. So now let's take a look at the flashcard set mode in Note. Students can click on each flashcard to flip between the term and the definition. And there's also a great feature on here called card sorting in which students can click with a green check mark on the terms that they do know, the red check mark on the ones that they don't know. And once they've gone through that flashcard set, they have the ability to keep reviewing the terms that they had marked that they didn't know, or they can restart. And Note also has a learn mode that students can use and they can customize how they use it whether they want to go through flashcards or multiple choice true or false questions, and they can answer the questions. If they get a question wrong as they're working with it, they can click to explain why it was wrong, and Kai, Note's mascot, will give an explanation. The next mode is the practice test, and again, students go in and customize their options, the number of questions, the types of questions, and they can even put in an exam date so they can make some plans for studying for an upcoming test. And once students have completed the practice test, they're going to be shown feedback of how they did with some options for more practice, whether it's take a new test on some units or retry the missed questions or try the test again. The next one is spaced repetition, which is great for when students have a test that's a little further out in the future. This will customize how many cards students practice each day, and they can set the custom options for it as well. And the next one is the matching practice. So students can customize with an exam date if they'd like to, they can choose how many cards they'd like to match and whether they'd like to just choose to study the starred items only that they had marked for further practice. And once complete, students will receive feedback on that activity as well. And the great thing about it on the teacher side, I can go in and I can see the mastery of my students. I can look at that student dashboard and be able to see how much time students had spent in each practice mode and their percentage of mastery. And on the card set itself, I can see the mastery per card in the flashcard set. Now, if I want to restrict students from particular options or study modes, I can do that by clicking on the button to set study mode restrictions. I can turn off a study mode if I'd like to, or I can turn off some options in a study mode if I'd like to limit my students' ability to do so. Note was a game changer in my classroom. It increased student engagement and it improved the student performance and it gave me the control on the teacher side to help guide my students as they were preparing for upcoming tests and quizzes. If you liked this video, please click like below and subscribe to our channel for more teaching tips. Thanks for watching and happy teaching.